Hello, I'm Kunal, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Sometimes customers tell me that they are able to create a table in Athena, but when they query it, zero records are returned. Today, I'll walk you through three common scenarios where the query might return zero records and how can you resolve it. So let's get started. Reason one. The first reason could be an incorrect Amazon S3 path. While specifying the S3 path, be sure to specify the bucket prefix as opposed to the entire path to the file. That is, use S3 my data slash new instead of S3 my data slash new slash data dot JSON. To create the table in Athena, you may have either provided the table definition or DDL via the Athena console or used AWS glue crawler to automatically infer the table schema and populate the table. If you provided the table DDL via the Athena console, then check the S3 path specified and update it if required. Let me walk you through the steps to update the S3 path. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Athena Console. Run the Show Create Table table name command. If you would like to change the table location, that is, in case the entire path to the file was specified, then update the location by using the command alter table table name set location new location. Now run the query to see if it works. Similarly, if you created the table using the AWS glue crawler, be sure that the crawler is pointing to the S3 bucket slash folder rather than a file. You can check the S3 path provided and then update it if required by following the steps on the screen. From the AWS glue console, choose the crawler section. From the list of crawlers, Select your crawler name and then check the include path. If a specific file was specified rather than the bucket prefix, choose edit. Then under add a data source section, update the include path. Leave all other configurations as same. Choose Finish. Now run the crawler to update the table DDL. Now run the query to check if you get the results. Note, if you run the crawler multiple times on a schedule to update the schema or add partitions and so on, you must update the include part. However, if you use the crawler just once to create the table, you can use the alter table command itself, as I talked about earlier. Reason 2. The second reason could be an incorrect location path that doesn't exist or doesn't contain the relevant data. Verify that the input data location path points to Amazon S3. If the input location path is incorrect, then Athena returns zero records. In the example here, the location provided is S3 knowledge center slash table 03. Well, in fact, the actual location is S3 knowledge center table 3, that is without the zero. Reason 3. The third reason could be that your table has defined partitions and these partitions were not loaded into the AWS Glue Data Catalog or the internal Athena Data Catalog. 
If the partitioning information was specified in the create table statement, then you can load the partitions into the catalog. Depending upon your partitioning structure, you can use either MSCK repair table or alter table add partition command. To check the partitioning structure, navigate to the S3 console and select the bucket name that's visible in the table DDL or AWS glue crawler. Here is an example of how Athena expects to find the data at S3 path for a table that is partitioned on ear. Let me show you how to add these partitions to the data catalog by using the console. From the Athena console, run the MSCK repair table table name command. Now let's run the query to check if it returns the records. If the partitions aren't stored in a format that Athena supports or are located at different S3 paths, then run the command alter table add partition for each partition. Consider the same example of a table that is partitioned on ear. Another partitioning structure could be as shown on my screen. If you have a similar partitioning structure that Athena does not directly support, Run the alter table command for all the partitions. Let me show you how. From the Athena console, run this command on the console. Now let's run the query to check if it returns the records. When using partitioning, avoid specifying the Amazon S3 path in camel case. Instead, use the flat case. For example, use user ID instead of user ID with the capital I. Finally, run the select query to check if you can see the results after fixing the issue. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.